Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to go ahead and do a review on the Nomar uh, mount demount bar. I got this thing a couple weeks ago. I've used it a couple times already and it works out really good. Um, so I want to do a quick review on it so you can see that it works really good for car tires even though it's uh, originally designed for motorcycle uh, tires um, but it works really well when doing regular tires. A couple weeks ago I did a, a video on some uh, low profile tires I did for that car that I've been working on uh, and that was a little tough but you're going to see with these wheels I've been doing a couple of these wheels that we're going to do today and uh, you're going to see that the um, this bar looks really well for regular tires. Um, I'm very very impressed with it. I'm uh, also going to do uh, the yellow thing also is also uh, they can get it from the same company and get it at the same time for a discount. Um, so this is the uh, mount demount bar from uh, Nomar and this is a, a tool called the yellow thing. I demonstrated a, another tool the last time called the red thing um, and that uh, it works well to hold it the tire when it comes time to put it back on. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, before we get started I want to talk about the uh, t-shirts that I wear sometimes. This one right here is a design of my own. Uh, if you know what this uh, symbol right here stands for, you'd understand what that flash me means. It's nothing offensive, uh, although it seems to be offensive when you talk to some people. Um, but it's an automotive thing. If you know what it is, it's great. If not, um, well, maybe you need to learn some more. Watch my channel. Watch a few more other YouTube channels. Maybe you'll figure out one day what that little uh, what that little picture of there is and what the flash me actually stands for. Uh, I'm not going to say. <laughs> I'm going to have fun with that. Um, but it means something. Uh, well, the description below, I'm going to go ahead and put a link to my uh, t-shirt store. So if you're interested in this shirt or one of my other shirts uh, that I'll be wearing in some of the other videos, um, go ahead and take a look at those. Um, but just uh, go ahead and visit and support the channel. Uh, I want to keep making videos. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Here we've got the tire. We're going to go ahead and remove the valve stem. Well, the valve stem core, I should say. And that's going to go ahead and release the air in the tire. While the air is releasing, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for any wheel weights that might be on here. And there aren't any on this side. And there aren't any on this side. I made these plastic forms to go here to protect the aluminum wheels. And that is to help when I break the bead, not to scrape up the aluminum wheel. I set this up on here. Make it square with it. I'm going to put this in here. See what happens. I'm going to take the bread bar now. I'm going to go ahead and put it on here. And help push the bead down. Let's see what happens. Now these tires have been a little stiff on the back side. This is the last one I have to do. These are the old tires from the Grand Prix. I mounted these tires about two years ago. So we push it down and then maybe we can massage it. If not, we take our spray bottle. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Take my spray bottle and I go ahead and spray around the edge of the rim. This is a lubricant. a mix of the Nomar um, tire mount lubricant that you get free when you buy the bar and what you do is you take uh, two tablespoons I believe it was and mix it with water and it makes this really good lubricant that works really well for helping to dismount the tires and sometimes if the tire doesn't come off right away Take it and spin the wheel. I'm going to try doing it at 180 degrees, even though that never works. And push the bead off the other side. Let's see if we can get it to go around this time. Oh, oh that probably got one. It's there on that side. Not quite. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. You can kind of feel it when it goes. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and pop the other side, pop this up, pick up the wheel, flip it on over, 
over here. Now there is a tire pressure sensor in here, and that's why I'm going in with the tires. Get the tire pressure sensor out. I'm gonna try to do it over here. The fronts on the other tires seem to do it pretty well. Coming off without any problem. Yeah, like that. And you'll feel it and you'll hear it kind of pop all the way around. Alright, that's it. The beat is broken. Now we'll go ahead and set this on here. I'm going to put the valve stem towards me. Pop that little thing off. Guide the pin in the hole. Put that there. Now this plastic yellow piece right here on the bottom uh, is to help protect that aluminum rim again. And this plastic piece right here is to protect the other side of the aluminum rim. And I cut those out of the bucket, out of a plastic bucket. Uh, same thing with that piece on the bottom. I just used a heat gun to form that piece on the bottom. This goes, yeah, this way. Cone, cone pointing down. And then this bar goes on top, like so. And then we tighten it with the bar. Hold on, give it a spin, and we just want to snub her down. Let's go ahead and give a quick spray of the lube. I also have on the tip of the bar a little bit of the Nomar grease which I'll put reapply when I go to put it back on. Alright, so to put this in, you're going to stick it in with the flat edges down. I'm sticking it right next to the valve uh, stem, which is where the tight pressure monitor is. You want to push this down. You want to rotate this now. You rotate that so it locks it in a little better. Then you just kind of lift it up. Then you just take your hand on this side, lift it up, and you just kind of... I like to have this at the edge of the, the rim, but it wasn't there. Maybe on the bottom one. Alright, now what we're going to take it and we kind of tip it forward. Do the same thing. Drop this down. Turn it. Lift it up. The other side of the tire, that side of the tire is in the drop center. Kind of lift it up while turning it. Turn it tire comes right off like that nice and simple and easy really not much effort at all I'm, I'm really surprised at how easy it comes off all right now I'm gonna set this tire aside for now it's gonna go back on I'm gonna take the tool and remove this is why I'm in here I'm gonna remove the little bolt that's holding the sensor on sensor. That's the tire pressure sensor that I have. I'll put it there because it's an aftermarket kit that I might put on my Porsche. Next time I do tires there. Um, it's really, I just want to wipe it down. Get all, the, get all the water wetness out of it and off of it because you don't want water in a tire. Now you could clean the rim up. You could take a little sandpaper, kind of freshen up, get all these, get all the rubber off. This is going on the car I'm about to send to the junkyard, so I'm not going to worry too much about this wheel this time. Anymore. Let's go ahead and wipe up all the water off of this tire that we used. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Get off all the water that we had on that we used. Okay, now we're going to take the grease. This is a, uh, uh, this is a, um, it's a grease, but it's not, um, it's not an oil-based grease, it's vegetable-based grease, I guess is what it is. Alright, so this is going to be my bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and just lubricate this part of the bead. I'm going to rub a little bit of the grease on here. 
lubricant, whatever you want to call it. Make it nice and slick. Before I push that tie around, now you want to put a little grease on the beads down here to help seat it. Just take your fingers and rub the grease along. The tire goes on. Same thing on the base. Just help you get get the tire around when it's time to seat it with the air. All right, set that down. Wipe the excess off my hands. Pick the tire back up. And now we're gonna go ahead and put the first bead on. The first bead on is real easy. Just kind of hover it on there and just kind of push it and walk it and boom, it's on. Really simple. Again, this is a non-low profile tire. This is a 60 series, which means, it's, yeah, it's not a low profile, but it's still small. But low profile tires have a smaller um, edge, and they make it very stiff. So now I'm doing, I'm taking a little bit of that grease, same grease, same tire lube. I'm just putting it on this bead. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it on the back side too. Put it on the back side. What that does is allow us to slide over the rim. Okay, I'm going to push it on. I'm going to take my yellow fang tool. Yellow fang tool locks in on the rim. I like to put it at the spoke, even though you don't have to. And then, take your Nomar bar. I'm going to go ahead and put a little grease on here. Go ahead and put a little grease on the... Um, prongs. It comes with an extra prong. Well, that's one thing. It does come with an extra prong. I haven't broke one, but it comes with an extra prong. I'm putting it on here, and I just kind of walk it around. And here's where it's going to take a little bit of effort. Push this down. It's going to take a little bit of effort, but still not much. I'm still not pushing that hard. And you can see my, my, my voice. I'm not talking that loud. And now I'm past the pivot point, I can really just ease it on. It's really once you get past that stretching point, that point where the tire becomes stretched and now it's being pushed on, it just pops right on. That's really it for mounting it. And now the next part is going to be inflating it. Now, on a regular tire machine, what you normally do is you lift the tire up and then you step on a button, which causes air to blow in underneath. This one here, as you see, it's kind of floppy, and it will seat, because I can feel this bottom one's pretty well seated. So I can just lift this up, and it will pop on, but um, that's a little too easy. So that's going to be the next video, where I pop this tire back on the rim using um, one of those uh, inflator blast tanks. Uh, Cheetah makes one. Uh, I got one recently. Um, usually when I buy tools, I go a little uh, on the wild side. Uh, and buy stuff that I want, that I need. And I happen to see one on Amazon that I'll put in the link below that one. Um, and that I absolutely love. So that'll be the next video. So let's go ahead and stop this video. That's it for this. You just have to reinflate this tire, which I'm going to show you. And again, I could just put an air chuck on here and use two hands to hold it up. But as you know, that's kind of tough with two hands. So in the next video, I'll show you how to pop my next recorded video. <laughs> I'll show you how to pop the tire on the rim. I do live videos mostly. Not do too, too many... Record videos. The only time I do record videos is when I'm doing uh, a uh, tool review. And the tool review today was on the Nomar mount dismount bar, which I absolutely am in love with. For price, you can't beat it. It does come with one replacement tip. Uh, I do remember reading that the tips were lifetime guarantee, but I'm not sure if that's still the case. So don't quote me on that. Uh, but it did come with one replacement tip because uh, it is just nylon. There is a stainless steel. Uh, I'm going to call it a stainless steel slug that's in here also, uh, down to the point where this little piece right here is bolted into it. They do give you a wrench that comes with this because you do have to install this little handlebar, which I absolutely love the handlebar because as you're turning it, you can hold it. That's one thing I never liked about the red bar that comes with this is that it turns. You can see it twist. This has a nice bar that holds it so you can guide it across. Um, again, I absolutely love this bar. Um, no problems with a low profile tire no problem no problem at all with this tire and the next tires i have to do are going to be truck tires so probably getting me uh, even easier uh they're steel rim tires so i'm probably going to use the red bar for that but i may end up putting it on with this because again i uh, 
like being able to hold this thing and rotate it. It's nice. It's a nice tool. Um, the other tool that I used was the yellow thing, available from both from Nomar. Uh, again, um, I'm not getting anything for this review, so just so you know, I'm just, just reviewing the tool because it's a tool I like. All right. Um, so that's really it. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. <coughs> ask a question. Uh, it's all good. All right. Uh, thanks for watching.